Well, they are the ones that help you in a house fire, car wreck or a medical emergency. First responders, they see people's worst day almost every day. Grace Brister spoke to the Lowndes County Fire Coordinator and Community Counseling Services to find out how they help emergency workers keep moving on to the next scene. Grace. Just this week, Lowndes County volunteers responded to a house fire that claimed the lives of two young people. Seeing something like that takes a heavy emotional toll. But there are services in place to help first responders process the trauma so they can keep doing their vital work. We call them first responders for a reason. They're the first ones on the scene in almost any disaster. <coughs> They see some of the most heartbreaking incidents, but they have to remain calm and help others do the same. The first thing we have to do is do what we're called there to do, to try to uh, initiate some kind of response to better the situation, to stop the incident from getting worse. Sometimes when it's all over, it can be difficult to return to their day-to-day -day activities. Everybody has a family at home also, and uh, when you get back and get to a quiet location and you start reminiscing and thinking about the events that you've just witnessed and been through, they are some of the most hor you know, horrific things you can see. Lowndes County Fire Coordinator Neil Austin says it sometimes requires them to keep their feelings in check. And this can be especially tough for newer first responders. The first couple of times that they see something that's tragic like that, it affects you immediately. Austin says the best thing to do is to talk about it, whether it's with peers, friends, or family. He says they call in critical incident stress management teams. They also get together with other first responders in the community to discuss their roles in the situation and what they saw that bothered them. This not only keeps things from bottling up, but it also builds camaraderie with other departments that work within the community. It helps us when we're all sitting around the table together and talking about the same things. Administrator for Lowndes County Community Counseling Services, Veronica Harrison, agrees that internalizing is never the answer. One of the things we say is don't deny that it happened and to be honest about your feelings. To talk to somebody, find a friend, talk to a therapist, but have somebody that you can talk to. Austin and Harrison want other first responders to know that they are not alone. There's always somebody you can talk to. We started this as a team and we're gonna finish this as a team. Community Counseling offers 24-hour services and it's free to first responders.